Hey everybody, today I'm working on a Pioneer 4 cart. What I'm doing is, is I'm making it to where it is like the modern 4 carts that have a raised tongue. If your four cart was built before 2015, it did not have a raised tongue. So when you hooked up, your tongue was mounted right here. I've stripped everything off of this to make it easy to work on. I took the seat off. I took the rail off on the front, I took the fenders off, I took the wheels off, I've got it jacked up, and it's just a lot easier to work on. But if your cart was built before 2015, it was built like this. You had this U-channel in the front right here, and either your single tree or your double tree, your team pole, was mounted here and here. And there was a hole cut out for this uh, bolt that's welded on the bottom. So this is the single tree right here. And you see what I'm talking about. You got the bolt, the bolt, and then the hole cut out to receive that on the bottom underneath. And this worked great for many years. The problem was, is that if you wanted to go between a team pole and a single shaft, you had to unbolt it from here. And when you unbolt this and unbolt this, you have to have two people. You gotta have somebody in the front up here holding it, and you gotta have somebody in the back holding it because it's just so awkward. Or you gotta put you know, wood underneath it, cribbage underneath it, you gotta put jack stands underneath it, you gotta put a floor jack underneath it. It's not a one-man operation. The way the new ones are, the raised tongue allows you just to do a pin operation, like you're doing a trailer hitch receiver, pull the pin out, stick the new tongue in, and put the pin back in. This is the shafts right here for a single horse. I don't have the, the shafts actually on, I've got them out. Just this thing right here weighs about 60 pounds. And in order to get it, I gotta come over here, put it up here, then I can't hold it and bolt it. That's what I'm saying, it's a two-man operation. So I guess Pioneer realized that it would be easier to have a raised tongue built into the card itself, and then you could just do a pin operation. So what I wanna do is I wanna have the flexibility to go from single shafts to a team pole and I do not want to do all of this bolting and unbolting because I'm by myself the majority of the time. And this is an exercise of frustration when you got to convert this over. If you go back and look at old pictures of the four carts since Pioneer has been building them, they've made several improvements throughout the years. It's kind of neat to look at them from a historical point like that because you can notice the subtle differences. This uh, raised tongue that they built, it's already gone through several iterations as well. They just figure out a, a better way to do it. But what I've got is I've got a three inch metal team pole and I'm going to sacrifice it and turn it into a raised hitch. Just like they probably did when they realized that this was an exercise in frustration having to change them over. So when I convert my team pole over to a raised hitch, it will be permanently mounted to the cart. And all I will be doing is just pinning and unpinning, just like the modern carts of today. My buddy Jared has got a newer cart that already has the raised tongue manufactured into it. So he was courteous enough to take the time to go out to his shop and take photos and measurements and send them to me. So based off of his dimensions, I'm going to copy that and convert my three inch pole over. Now, 
Four Cart makes a conversion kit for carts that are made before 2015. It looks like this. And you can see the holes are already drilled in it and everything. The proper name for that through four cart is called a cart tongue bracket. I was looking under conversion kit, retro kit, you know, something along those lines and I could not find it. And I just happened to stumble across an article where somebody re referenced it as a cart tongue bracket and then I was able to find it. Well, it cost 250 bucks and it's an additional 75 bucks to ship it from Ohio to Georgia, so 325 bucks. Well, having this three inch metal tongue and being a welder, I can just manufacture my own. I feel like I'm just retracing the steps that Pioneer had already done several years earlier. Their original metal tongues were three inches and now they're two and a half inches in outside dimensions. And so by converting this three inch tongue over to a cart tongue bracket, all I'll have to do is get a two and a half inch tongue and it'll slide right into the three inch bracket. And this is the evener bracket and it's adjustable on this cart. Originally, on the original carts, it was fixed in the very center. If you go back and look in the archive photos, but then what they started doing is they started making it adjustable so you could slide it to the left or to the right. Some implements you need to have the evener over to the side. And if you're gonna be doing a three hitch, you, you have to do a, an offset hitch like this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, I'm gonna cut it off right here, and I'm gonna weld it to my new cart tongue bracket because it's already set up for an evener. And what I'm gonna do with this extra section of it, because there's gonna be a big long section left over, I'm gonna take it and weld it up and make a draw bar out of it. The only thing that's gonna be left on this cart is going to be this bracket right here, but it's welded to it so it will stay on there, it'll be fine. If you look at the new four carts, it's squared across the front right here. It doesn't come to this aggressive point. It's more square across here, but it's not gonna be a big deal. I'm gonna take this bolt and cut this bolt off right here. The tongue is already pre-drilled, so it'll bolt right up in here and it will stick out nine inches from here and then it'll go up and, and out. Here's my three inch team pole and it probably weighs a hundred pounds. The new pole is two and a half inches in diameter and it's only 10 feet long. But here on this team pole, you can see where it mounts. It's already reinforced and it's reinforced on the sides as well. And it has the hole cut on the other side to accept that bolt. So what I'm gonna do, the, the first two feet of this is gonna be underneath the vehicle, and then I'm gonna add an additional nine inches. And here's the rough layout of it. I gotta cut this at a 110 degree angle same with that up there and see the holes are here so it'll mount right on there and then i'll cut this off right here and this piece will be welded right here so my evener bracket will be right here i purchased this and the reason i did was because i had more than enough material left over for my tongue i just used a uh, Milwaukee abrasive cutoff wheel is what I used to cut it. But I had more than enough left, but I did not have the capability to put this stress reinforcer neck on here. And also the holes are drilled perfectly straight. Um, so I know that when I put a two and a half inch tongue in here, that everything will line up. It won't be all cockeyed. So I paid $30 for this. And uh, that's going to be the only money I'm going to have in it is that $30 and some red spray paint and some time. 
Another advantage to having this raised tongue is that one of the complaints with the old tongue being mounted on the bottom of the cart like it was, is that it hit horses in the backs of the legs when they were trying to do turns and stuff like that. So with it raised up, it, you don't have that issue anymore. If you notice on the single shaft, they're raised up already and so their feet are clearing. But on that tongue being mounted on the bottom of the car like that, it's just so low. Metal's all cleaned up, cut at the correct angles and ready to weld. Here she is all welded up. Everything's together. I ended up adding end caps here and here, but the welds turned out good. She's gonna do just fine. The only thing I see is this right here. This is supposed to be in line, so I'm probably gonna have to cut these off and re-drill these holes a little closer because this is, this is out just a couple of inches too far, but I didn't wanna cut it off down here also, if you look in the new ones, this angle right here mirrors this angle right here. And uh, it comes up and then comes out. But it wasn't worth re-engineering it for all of that. So I just welded it down there. It'll be just fine. But like I said, I'm going to have to probably cut these off and drill two holes right here. All painted up and mounted. I ended up cutting it off and making it even. And I figured since I had everything off, I'd go ahead and get a fresh coat of International Harvester Red tractor paint on there. It's a perfect match. So I've got the other parts over there painting and I will put all this back together. But this turned out great. Real pleased with how that turned out. Now I just have to get a two and a half inch tongue to go in here and I'm going up to Ohio in May so I'll pick one up from Pioneer when I'm up there. The great thing about this is, is now it's a one man operation. You can just unpin it, pin your team pole in and when you wanna take your team pole out, put your uh, single shabs in. Single shafts are a little different now. They don't have that big bulky piece that goes down underneath like I showed you earlier. Now it's just a straight pin. And when you wanna store it, you don't have a permanent tongue or permanent shafts mounted to the front of your vehicle. You can just unpin it, store this up against the wall, and then just park this over in the corner. Everything's out of the way. Instead of it sticking out 10 feet or whatever and you're always tripping over it and trying to figure out what to do with it. Now, if you want to do a offset hitch, Pioneer makes an offset bar. I call it a Z bar. And you can just mount that and do your offset hitch for your three abreast or if you're going to do a, some of your implements, like I said, need to be offset hitch. And also when the team pole is in here, instead of down here, it's up higher, it rides higher on the animals. The animals aren't going to be kicking it when they're turning. So I hope that helped give you a better understanding of Pioneer 4 carts and how you can make your older cart more modern, whether you make this or whether you buy it. Just the ease and the simplicity of one man operation and not the exercise and frustration. As always, remember who you are, be kind to those around you, stand up for what you believe in.